Hey guys, welcome to my Risk of Brain 2 loader movement tutorial. I'm making this video because I've seen a lot of loader tutorials out there and none of them really touch on movement too much, but there's actually a lot of different things that you can do. So I'm hoping to cover all of the different concepts and how to use them. Also, I'm going to be leaving timestamps in the description below for the locations of each of the different concepts. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing we need to cover is exactly how swinging works. Basically, when you swing, you can choose what angle you're going into the swing at by holding either forward, left, right, or forward left and forward right. As an aside, you can only grapple onto surfaces that you can actually collide with. So shrines of chance and shrines of combat you'll be able to grapple on, but shrine of the woods and shrines in the mountain you can't. Now that we know the basics of swinging, let's start getting into what is, in my opinion, the most important part of Loader's Toolkit, and that is skating. So with skating, there's one really important rule, and that is if your hook is above where Loader is, then you will skate along the ground. But if it is below Loader, you will stick to the ground like glue. The reason skating is so important is because it gives you an efficient way to get places on a small scale rather than just big swings and launches. Also, since there's very little flat ground in this game, it means you can skate pretty much anywhere. Pretty much no matter where you're standing, you'll be able to find some place that is above where Loader is to grapple. The different angles of swinging in are going to be very important with this because they will affect the trajectory that you have going towards the item you're trying to reach. Now that we understand the basics of skating, let's get into some more advanced hook stuff. So with swinging, there's going to be two main things that affect your trajectory coming out of it. The first is going to be if you disengage your hook before you pass the hook point, and the second is going to be if you disengage your hook after you move past the hook point. If you disengage before you reach the hook point, you'll end up with the same trajectory that you had going into the hook. And by going into the hook, I mean whatever direction you are holding, because that will alter your trajectory. But if you wait until you swing past, you will actually have the opposite trajectory. So if you're trying to do a big swing, then you want to hold the opposite direction of where you're trying to go. And if you're doing a short swing for a just a small spacing adjustment in the air, then you're going to want to hold the direction you're actually trying to go. The next topic we're going to be covering is trimping. Now trimping is something you guys are probably familiar with from playing with other characters. If you wax quail with head stompers into a slope, then you're trimping. But with loader, you can set up trimps right off the bat with your swing. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to doing, but basically you just want to swing into a slope that's not too steep and it will convert some of your horizontal momentum into upwards momentum. But if you do it right and you hit the right slopes, you'll still conserve a lot of your horizontal momentum. So it essentially gives you almost the kind of movement you would have with more than one hook or your hook and your punch, but without actually having to burn your punch. Now you guys have probably noticed that I have not really touched on the punch yet. That is because your punch is not as useful of a movement tool as it appears on the surface. It is definitely very useful, but your hook should be your main form of movement. See, the thing with the punch is if you punch, then your momentum will quickly dwindle and you, you won't get much out of it. But if you punch into a hook, it will conserve a lot of your momentum. And even more importantly, if you swing first, then you can use your punch to extend your momentum or you can use it to redirect the direction that you're trying to go if the terrain will not allow you to hook in a way that will do it. It's important to know that you don't actually need the punch to get big distance off a swing. If you set up your swing correctly, then you can go very, very far off of just one hook, as you can see here. Now, obviously, her movement opens up a lot more once you get more backup mags. Um, but all of these concepts can be used throughout the entire run, especially early game, to help you much more efficiently move through the maps and get items. Just be sure that you are pretty much always using your skills on cooldown and just practice. Honestly, the best place to practice all this stuff is the swamp level. There's, the terrain is so varied that there's lots of places to practice each of the different concepts that I've covered here. Anyways, that about wraps up my loader tutorial. 
Um, I've left timestamps below for all the different concepts if you want to come back and brush up on any specific one. And yeah, have fun up there, guys.